Ah, so very tasty. Today we are talking about one of the best fifth pocket knives in my opinion. This is the brand new Urban EDC Supply Voxnez Designed Copita. I'm super excited to share this thing with you guys. Let's get it. This video is brought to you by UrbanEDCSupply.com. They are my go-to guys for any new and upcoming EDC gear. They have a bunch of exclusives and drops every single week, so there's always new products. I will leave an affiliate link in the description below, so if you guys would like to support this channel and them, then consider making your next purchase using that link. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to Everyday Minimalist. My name is Brandon, and I hope you're having a fantastic day. If you're new here to the channel, I review knives, EDC gear, and then a bunch of other products, so if you're interested in seeing more, go ahead, hit that subscribe button and ring that bell icon so you know when that next video is live. So today we are checking out a brand new Jesper Voxnes design. This is the Urban EDC Supply Copita. The Copita is a pretty sweet compact fifth pocket type of frame lock flipper. That was a lot to say in one sentence but this thing is a pretty sweet knife. I've been carrying this around for about two to three weeks now and I think I'm ready to give you guys my full impressions. So if you've been watching my channel for a while now then you know that I absolutely adore Jesper Voxnes. Voxnes designs. He just absolutely knows how to make a really good ergonomic knife that looks really nice as well. In this video, we're just going to talk about my overall impressions, what the negatives and the positives, and who this knife is actually built for, in my opinion. Let's just go ahead and give you guys some quick size comparisons. If you guys want to see more technical specs, that will be listed in the description below. Here's a full-size Benchmade bug out next to the Copita. This thing is quite a bit smaller than the bug out in total length. And then in terms of total width, it's going to be just a tad thicker. Let's go ahead and show you guys that next to the mini bug out and it's actually still shorter than the mini bug out so it is very small. Here it is next to the mini bug out closed up and it is still shorter in the total length when it's concealed. The next size comparison I want to show you is the CRKT Pilar and this is another Voxnez design and it's still smaller than the Pilar which is actually kind of small already. I know a lot of my buddies do carry the Pilar as a fifth pocket knife. I think that the Copita is going to be great for someone that's just looking for that really nice secondary carry. Now before I get into the negatives, Urban EDC Supply is not paying me to do this video so I can be 100% transparent with you guys and give you my 100% honest impressions. All right, let's get into it. So the first negative on this knife is going to be the action. When I first got this knife and unboxed it, it had been in another set of hands, another reviewer's hands. And when I first flipped it open, it was not super satisfying. It would do like this thing where it would go halfway out and not flip out completely and then engage the lock. I did disassemble this knife, kind of just clean it up in terms of the bearings and everything. And after that was kind of all sorted out, this has been fantastic to use. It flips out pretty perfectly. It doesn't necessarily drop shut at all. Of course, I think that, it, you know, over time that might actually happen, but in terms of the drop shuttiness right now, it's not going to happen. The second gripe I have for the Copita is going to be the pocket clip. For those of you guys that are returning again, the pocket clip is a pretty big deal to me. This one isn't absolutely terrible, but it is a slight negative. Essentially, the pocket clip screw is not recessed, even though the clip is actually recessed. So if they went with a more so pro -tech style, if they just went with a recessed pocket clip as well as recessed screw, I think that would actually work a little bit better to fit it within the pocket. While we're on the subject of the pocket clip, I just wish this pocket clip was like one or two centimeters up in terms of the placement, and that would actually turn this into a deep carry type of setup. I'm not sure if they could possibly resolve that. You do have another screw here that actually holds in the backspacer. Having that much of the knife poke out of the pocket and you're trying to get it concealed, especially with the compact carry, it would just be nice to have that little feature. Aside from that, those are like the three negatives I have for this knife. Everything else is absolutely awesome. So let's just jump right into the positives. My first positive would be the ergonomics of this knife. It feels great in the hands for how small it is. And I think that's just due to the fact that it was designed by Jesper Voxnez. That man definitely knows how to make really good knives and his designs fit in my hand absolutely perfectly. I can wrap all of my fingers 
around the knife and then still get a really nice purchase. The pocket clip is kind of a hot spot, but not so much to the point where it's really annoying. There is jimping on the top of the blade spine so you can actually choke up and get into those more robust cuts. And this is typically how I would hold this knife unless I was opening up a package, then you can put your index right there and it still feels really nice in the hand. The next positive I have on the Kopita is the materials they use to manufacture this thing. I'm not exactly sure who did the manufacturing, but it feels amazing. You've got a titanium frame lock design, titanium liners right underneath this brown micarta, a titanium backspacer, and then most of all, it's on bearings and an M390 blade. M390 is one of my most favorite blade steels, so I'm just super happy that they included it with this specific knife. And in terms of cutting performance, it is very slicey. The blade is relatively thin, and if you're opening packages, doing some pretty small tasks, this is gonna be perfect for you. Another positive on this knife is gonna be the steel lock bar insert. So this is just gonna really help out in terms of making this thing last longer. So if you're planning to keep this for a very long time, I don't think it's gonna have any issues in terms of the locking interface. Frame locks are tried and true, and I think this thing is gonna last a very, very long time. And the very last positive I do have on this knife is gonna be the overall aesthetics. I think this thing looks great in pictures. It looks great when it's just sitting out on the desk. It has a really good rustic feel to it, which if you're into whiskey or stuff like that, I think this will fit really well into your EDC. So let's answer the question, who is this knife for? I believe this knife is gonna be for someone that already has a really nice primary carry and they need something very small for a fifth pocket secondary carry. This isn't gonna be for someone that's gonna be brand new into the EDC world and it's more tailored to the enthusiast. It retails at about 199, which is pretty steep, but again, you guys are getting a lot of premium materials and then on top of that, it is designed by one of the best designers out there, Jesper Voxnez. It's pretty lightweight and I think the point of having a fifth pocket knife is if you already have like a really nice knife, for example, like a Chris Reeve and Kosi or like a Benchmade Anthem, you don't wanna pass that over to your friend because you've got like a four to 500, even a thousand dollar knife in your pocket, this would still be a solid replacement so that way your friend can beat it up and do whatever with it. So there you guys have it. The Urban EDC Supply Copita and my overall impressions. Before I let you guys go today, I wanted to give you a heads up. We just broke through 17,000 subscribers. Now I was gonna do a 10K giveaway, but we just onboarded like seven to 8,000 of you guys within about a couple week time span, which is just absolutely insane. I can't thank you guys enough. So I'm going to give back to our community here within the next couple weeks. I'm going to be releasing a video on the next giveaway. If you want a sneak peek of what I'm giving away, then just go ahead, go to my Instagram. It's just going to be at every.day.minimalist and you'll be able to see what we're giving away. I can just let you know we're giving away two kits and I'm not disclosing anything else. So stay tuned. If you enjoyed this video, throw me a thumbs up. If you disliked it, throw me a thumbs down and I promise to you, I will do better next time. Thank you guys so much for spending your time with me today and we'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.